Hello everyone, Wolfhound905 here. Today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know while setting up your Autoimmune Dust Discord bot. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually invite the bot to your server. So in the description, you'll see a link to the automute.us website. And what you're just going to do is click Add to Discord and it will pop up a separate window where you can select your server and invite it. You will need uh, manage server permissions so you can invite bots to the server. So click authorize and that's it and we can close this window. So in your server you should see that the bot has joined and the prefix is .au so you can see that you've got everything on the discord side set up. With the bot in your server, now we're going to download the Capture Installer. So on automute.us, we're going to click the Capture Software button. This will bring you to a GitHub page, which you will scroll down to the Installation section and click the Download button. With this installed, we want to open your Downloads folder and run the installer. You will be prompted with a Windows Protect at your PC message. We will click More Info and run anyway. We then allow any Windows prompts to let the program keep installing. After that's done, it'll automatically install the Capture program and launch it for you. So with that, if you have Among Us already installed, you can click this little rocket. And if this message changed, you'll know that your Capture is working. If you're having any problems linking your capture to the game, please come check out our Discord. Uh, we have many active users to help you out there. Link is in the description. When starting an AutoMute game, you want to type .au new in your server's text channel. The bot will then send you a DM, and you want to click the link it sends you. This will automatically open your capture software and connect your capture to Discord. You'll know when this has been successful when this embed turns green. So what you're going to do is create an Among Us lobby. And once you're in the game, this embed will update to then show your current status in Among Us. So it will show the room code, your region, and how many players are linked. You can even copy the code in the capture software to share with your friends. Once your friends join, you can see that some of them start to pop up in here with ping or either unlinked. As you can see, Magdu's name does not match the one in Discord, so all he has to do is click the color cyan. So by default, sometimes you might see unlinked. What you're going to do is click the emoji corresponding to your color. This will link you. Then, once we go into a match, you will see that right now we are all um, not server muted. And once we get into match and it switches to task, you will soon see that we all be server deafened and muted. So, this will allow for Ghost to talk during discussions. That is how you create an auto mute lobby. A problem you may run into is the bot not actually DMing you. So when you type .au new, you can see that the embed pops up, but there's no DM. So this means that you have direct messages turned off for this server. So right click the server icon, go to privacy settings, and click allow direct messages from server members. So now when I start a new game now I get a DM and when I open it it will link properly so there we go 
Another common troubleshooting problem is the bot not actually being able to talk in the channel. So as you can see, I'm typing .au help, but nothing actually pops up. So it seems that the bot actually has permission to view channels and send messages. But Discord actually matters on a channel level basis. So in your channel that you're trying to use, click the little settings cogwheel, then go to permissions and look for any role that has to do with viewing and messaging the channel. As you can see, I had a, a, everyone not able to send messages. This may be normal in some servers, so what you want to do is you can add, say, the auto mute bot or the role and allow it to send messages. As you can see, now when I type .eu, it'll send messages in the channel. So, you've recently been seeing this message and you'd like to buy premium. So, in order to do that, you type .au premium in one of your text channels and then click the link it sends you. Once we're here, we can then sign in and click authorize. This may take a second. And once it's done authorizing, now we get to select our tier. For this tutorial, I will be going with Automutus Gold. You will then see a PayPal checkout window. I recommend you make a PayPal account because it will make it a lot easier to view your past purchase and cancel the automatic subscription. Um, it's just a little bit harder to do when you're paying as a guest so please 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 make a PayPal account when you do this so you're just going to log in and follow through with the payment and then you can agree and subscribe and then it'll say you paid and we can close this window now. Then if we go back to our server and type .au premium again, you will now see that it says we have Automutus Gold. So since we have the gold tier, this comes with two premium bots. Silver comes with one. So in order to invite those uh, worker bots, you can do .au prem invites. This will give you three links you can click to invite the bots to your server. And just like any bot, you click the link, then you add it to the server. Um, and we can do this with all three. Um, so basically, they are going to help with muting uh, extra users in your chat. So one bot can probably do around eight uh, flawlessly, and the other two, it just depends on Discord's rate limiting. And with these ones, they'll actually help the main bot mute everybody. Um, and they're not, there's no prefix for them. Uh, they just kind of sit there. Uh, and work silently. So don't worry, they're, they're always helping. Um, if you don't think they are and you think you're still getting slow mutes, uh, slow mutes, please check out our Discord. Link is always in the description. Well, thank you all for staying to the end, and that is all for today. See ya!